guys, Siobhan here back with a new video and in today's video we're going to talk about 5 things that the Note 8 does that the iPhone 10 can't. So the reason I've been doing this video is because um, I just got the Note 8, so I've been using it for over 2 days now and I've realized how many features it has and how many things that the iPhone 10 is missing. And also if you stay to the end of the video I'll give you some bonus tips. So the first one, it might be obvious, but it still uses a fingerprint scanner. Now, this is important for those people who can't really get over the face ID thing or are not interested in unlocking the phone with their faces. And also, fingerprint scanner seems to be more convenient at times. For example, you're sleeping and you're just taking up your phone, you just do like this, unlocks your phone right, right away. So that's a great feature and it's not on the iPhone 10 which sucks. Next up guys, if you didn't know, with the Note 8 you could add extra storage with the SD card. Now with the iPhone 10, if you get the base model, which is 64 gigs, it might full up because you're recording 4K videos, 60, 60 frames per second on this thing, you have slow-mo videos, you're adding apps, you're adding conversations in the thread, the media and all of that, and obviously it's gonna fill up in, in some time, so you could get that extra 64 gigs if you want, and that will bump it up amazing and you'll have a lot of storage on this phone by just adding an SD card slot and that's really convenient. Next up on this thing we have fast charging. I know on the iPhone 10 we have fast charging as well but that comes with a price. With the Note 8 I got fast charging straight out of the box. When I got the phone I didn't realize it was fast charging I thought it was just a normal charger until I read the brick it said fast charging on it. With the iPhone 10 in order to get fast charging you'd have to go out and buy another brick which is around the whole combo cost around eighty dollars you have to get a usb-c brick if you have a macbook you can already use that but then you'd have to get the usb-c to lightning charger just to get fast charging out of this thing and also with the note 8 you have fast charging wirelessly and the iphone 10 it's supposed to come out with a software update that gets fast charging wirelessly so yeah that's another thing even with the fast chargers Apple does not make a fast charger, you'd have to get a fast charger from a third party. The fast charger that comes with the iPhone 10 will cost like $120, which is just absolutely mind blowing. Next up guys, we still have the headphone jack on the Note 8. Now the headphone jack is something that is debatable because not a lot of people really care too much about the headphone jack because Apple has been doing this since the iPhone 7. So other people got used to not having a headphone jack. But if you're an audiophile and you love to hear that crispy quality, headphone jack is really important. Another thing is that you can't really charge and listen to music at the same time with iPhone 10, but with the Note 8, you could charge and listen to music at the same time. But for me, I'm a person that has been using wireless stuff. I have the Beat Solo 3 right here with my iPhone 10, and I also have my AirPods that I use with the iPhone 10 as well. So Having no headphone jack might not be an issue for some, but for some, that's the reason they're not getting the iPhones because it doesn't have a headphone jack. So keep that in mind before buying. Another thing that the Note 8 does that the iPhone cannot do is multitasking. So obviously, you guys might be saying you could do multitasking on the iPhone right here. So for example, you're in, for example, settings, you can just swipe like this, swipe like that. But that's not really multitasking guys, that's just basically switching between applications. Let me show you what multitasking is on the Note 8 or any Android device that runs Android Oreo, I think that's what it's called. I realized that they have some crazy names with these phones, it's pretty funny. So let me show you what multitasking is. I even set up my multitasking with my S Pen already. So for example, I'm in YouTube. I was watching my own video, yes, don't judge me. I'm in YouTube. Let's see how much views that video got. 800 views already. That's crazy. Like my own video. So you see this button right down here? You could touch this button and then you could go into split screen mode. So you want to split screen with, for example, Twitter. I'd open that. Then go back into YouTube, which is down here. So yeah, this is pretty cool. This is what you call multitasking. You're watching videos, you're on Twitter at the same time, you know what I'm saying? This is what real multitasking is. You're making use of the entire screen and that's what I really like with the Note 8. It has true multitasking unlike the iPhone 10. 
Next up guys, we have always on display. So if I turn my devices off right here, on my iPhone, you realize that it's black on the Note 8, it's black as well. How do I, how do I get always on display guys? Let me put back in my pen. So what always on display does is that it allows you to see your time, your notifications and everything and it will be always on. And with the iPhone 10, it doesn't have that. So you'd always have to touch the phone to see your notifications and then look at it. Then you'll see what's there. But with this phone, it's always there. So it doesn't take up in a lot of battery unlike the iPhone 10, where you have, to un you have to open it, it lights up the whole screen just to see your notifications that will suck up a lot of battery. So I wish in a software update, the iPhone 10 will get that always on display that the Note 8 has. So for the bonus features now guys, we have dual audio on the Note 8. Now dual audio allows you to connect multiple Bluetooth devices, for example speakers. So if you have two speakers, you could connect one speaker and then get another Bluetooth speaker, connect those two and play the same song at the same time. So you get maximum stereo speakers by using two different Bluetooth speakers. It doesn't have to be the same thing. I'll show you guys right now, but as you can see, it's 2.52 right now AM. So I can't really do that at this moment. Another bonus feature we have that, that on the Note 8 is the S Pen. Let me show you guys. So this S Pen is really awesome guys. You could, for example, jot down memos. So you, could, you just got a girl number, you just write it down. You know what I'm saying? You write down her number right here. Her name is Sam Man Tha. So you have Samantha number right there guys. And you might roll up on another girl. You hide that real quick. Her name is is Ariel, and she write down her number, 647, you know what I'm saying? You pull up to the bus stop again, you get another girl number, you jot it down real quick, you know what I'm saying? Unlike the iPhone, if you're trying to get a girl number, you'd have to go in, go into the phone pad, go right here, type in her number, hit add number, create new contact, write her name you know what I'm saying then you're done but with the note 8 if it's off you have your S Pen is off all you have to do boom slide it out you're there do what you want to do your parents tell you something you need to jot it down you have a list you just write down soap bag <laughs> it's just really cool I love the S Pen especially in apps you're using the S Pen. I use it a lot to type when I'm browsing. You have this feature that you just hold it a little bit down and it scrolls down to the page without you have to be like going through the pages. Another bonus feature is that with the internet, you could open links in the background. So let me just go on to like, Note 8 Review. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. So if you're on your iPhone and Note 8. So you're on your iPhone, and for example, you're already on, you're already on this page. You seen what you like, so you you're on this page, right? You seen what you like. You don't want to leave this page. So what you could do is, for example, you want to watch this video. You just hold it down, open in the background. So that video will be loading in the background while you're still reading what's on this page. Or the iPhone, you're on this page, you see what you like, you're reading that, you know what I'm saying? You want to see what the S Pen does. You can't really open in the background or anything like that. You'd have to like click the link, screen off minimum live messages. Let me try to get a link. So for example, you want to click one of these links, you hold on that link, you can't really see what's going on. You could see a preview, you could open in a new tab, but then it will leave the page that you were on. So you'd have to go back in here and continue reading what you were reading. But with the Note 8, it just opens in the background. If you want to see what was in the background, you go here and then this is the video. 
So yes guys, those are some amazing features with the Note 8 that the iPhone 10 cannot do and the Note 8 is the cheaper phone by far. So not by far, but it's cheaper and it offers more. So yes guys, if you enjoyed the video, definitely drop a like down below and always love peace and tweaks. Signing out.